Hey YouTube, hey guys, I am getting ready to tell you a little bit about this knife. First I'd like to thank uh, all of you for tuning in and, and watching and uh, my numbers are gradually and slowly increasing and I want to thank each and every one of you, my followers, for helping me to get 121, <laughs> 121 followers. To me, that's awesome. I mean, it may not be to the normal people on there making, you know, tons and tons of videos, but I'm just having fun, and that's that's all that matters, right? Okay, now let's go to a video where I begin telling you a little bit about this particular knife. This is the whaler. That's what it's known as among different collectors of Northfield Great Eastern Cutlery Knives. This is the Northfield Unexpelled Whaler. And they show this knife on some of the videos as being a perfect knife for the the boating extremist or the seafaring lover, the sailor, whatever the case may be. As it's excellent at cutting rope according to what I've seen now the edge that came on this knife was a full flat grind and it did have a when it arrived a small roll in the edge you couldn't see it unless you drug your fingernail across it you could feel it and then under a microscope you could see it so I have taken the wicked edge and I have placed a micro bevel on this and in fact you, you will find it difficult to even notice that it's there uh, except the way the light's shining on it right now on the end you can see a little bit of, of it there but anyway we'll try this uh, hair cutting test or hair whittling test with it let me zoom up on it and we will test out the hair whittling possibilities with uh, this particular edge before I know that it would not have cut anything like this and there you have it perfect excellent at whittling hair already I started out with 100 grit diamond stone and work my way up through a uh, thousand plus uh, 1200 1600 ceramics and then I stropped it I'm going to try this again if I can get a hold of the hair all right we'll try it again right here if I can get it there it goes it split the hair there shaved it <laughs> so it's very sharp to have uh, such a micro fine bevel that you can't even see really well at least with the naked eye excellent knife too in my opinion and now we will uh, take this knife out of the wicked edge vice or the jaws of the wicked edge you see a bunch of uh, crud and scum that comes with the pastes the diamond pastes and uh, also the uh, the sprays that I use. I actually use uh, what's known as um, <laughs> I can't even think. They're called uh, ca carbon um, <laughs> isn't that weird when your brain just goes and you, you have a brain fart? It happens to you too? They're actually known as uh, CBN slurries. I'm trying to think of what that stands for. It's CBN uh, um, Cubic Boron Nitride. That's it. I knew it would come to me eventually. Ken Schwartz uh, produces those and uh, sells them. And uh, I finished stropping with a uh, diamond spray. These are actually from De Beers brand diamonds and uh, they're very high quality and it's an expensive uh, couple of sprays that I use. Uh, I start out with uh, 
when I, I'm wrapping up my finishing sprays, I mean, uh, I finish up with a 0 0.25 micron, and uh, then my that's my coarse spray, and then I use the uh, cubic boron nitride spray by Ken Schwartz, which is uh, a, let's see, what is that, a, a 0 0.125 micron spray, which is... Uh, it's probably a lot of people say you can't even tell the difference at that particular amount oh I beg to differ everybody has their own opinion opinion is like an asshole everybody has one right and that's okay my opinion is it does help and if it helps just a small amount then I'm going to spend the money and I'm going to go that extra mile, that extra measure, just so I can make sure that knives are sharp for you guys when I sharpen them with my business mirrored edges. I did a little explaining earlier in the video about how you couldn't even see this bevel. I put a micro bevel on it. You really can't see. You can't tell much about it. I know. I mean... I hope that's focusing. If not, I apologize. But you can't really see much of a of a bevel on here. But the question is, is there one there? <laughs> is there one there that's going to be sharp? Well, you saw the the hair whittling. So now we're going to try cutting this phone book paper. And I would say, yes, it's very sharp. Now we're going to do a push cut test on this one. Well, I'm not going to start an edge. I'm just going to begin allowing the weight of the blade push itself down through the knot, or through the paper. That is a push cut all the way to the bottom. That's a push cut. A true to life push cut. Now for me, when I do a push cut with most of my knives, what is enough for me to prove that it's sharp is when I do a push cut test basically like this. I get the, the slice started and I just go ahead and, and slowly push it down through there to see if it's going to cut. But if you really want to maintain whether or not your knife is extremely scary sharp then to do a push cut test you should actually not start a slice you should actually just get ready and start pushing it down through there by the weight of the blade alone nothing else I'm not forcing that knife I'm allowing the weight of the blade find the the center of gravity the CG as it's called and allow that knife to allow the weight itself to push down through there. This knife is extremely sharp now and uh, you can barely see there's a, a bevel or an edge. Thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate it. Don't forget if you by chance have tried to sharpen a knife maybe you feel you have completely messed it up, dulled it, made it worse, even uh, perhaps messed up the tip, or like a knife I received yesterday, perhaps maybe just uh, screwed up the serrated edges and would like to get rid of them. Whatever the case may be, I will be glad to look at your knives and try and fix or repair them. Estimates are free. If you'd like a business card, feel free to uh, drop me a line. I will be glad to send you some. Also, uh, a couple of magnets for your refrigerator to keep the kids, <laughs> the kids, uh, I guess their homework up on the uh, fridge, whatever the case may be. Just drop me a line. Mirrored edges at yahoo.com. That's the address. And keep your knives sharp. And if you can't, don't forget, I'll do it for you guys. Peace. Have a good one.